For the calcium carbide cannon, the materials you need is a cannon, calcium carbide, five milliliters of water, and a projectile. To measure the mass of the calcium carbide, we first place the beaker in which it would be held onto the electric balance. So the electric balance would only read the amount of calcium carbide that would be put into, which is 0.5 grams. So now we're placing the calcium carbide into the cannon slot where the reaction will first occur. The water will react with the calcium carbide producing some a gas which will travel up the, the, the cannon and shooting out the ball when it is lit up. Added five grams of calcium carbide and five milliliters of water. Uh, we added here and then we closed it up and then we waited 45 seconds for the rea chemical reaction to occur and acetylene gas was uh, produced. And so we lighted the gas up uh, by holding a lighter to this hole and uh, lighting up the gas uh, propelled the object. Okay, so we did a calcium carbide cannon, and uh, we first decomposed calcium carbide in water, which can be represented by this equation here. And we started with 0.5 grams of calcium carbide, and we used stoichiometry to find that 0 0.0078 moles of C2H2 was formed. Later, we combusted C2H2, which can be represented by this equation. It has a delta H of negative 1,299 kilojoules per mole. And using the moles that we found, up here. We used stoichiometry to find that the reaction released 10 kilojoules.